Hello guys and welcome to my first video in English. Today's topic is training minimalism. But before I go into it, I want to talk a little bit uh, who am I, what uh, I can say about it and why I even talk about uh, training. Uh, my name is Stan Sebev and originally I'm from Bulgaria. I have my other YouTube channel which is in Bulgarian. But for this year resolution I decide to start also producing content in English so in this way I can be more helpful for a bigger group of people for a longer amount of time. Back to the topic now. In the recent years the bodybuilding and strength training take turn in the way that the information that is presented to us in more and more. So for somebody like me with 25 and more years of experience in training the information is not so confusing because I also have experience and this is a keyword here we will come back to this later but if you are somebody that just starting out and wants to have and wants to have more um, clear idea what you should do if you want to gain muscle this video it may be very helpful for you so what I see now in the gym more and more with the people is they just go one day, let's say Monday, and throw everything in their training what they want. Let's say they have chest and biceps. This is pretty typical training routine for somebody I see in the gym. What they will do is probably like a flat bench press, incline press, flies, uh, then crossovers, then something else, then push-ups, and all of this with 4 sets, 10, 15, or whatever reps they are doing. And this is just simply way too much. Uh, and how I know it's too much? Because I was there, I've been there, I've done that, the way how the, we said here. And in fact is, uh, the fact is, um, this is only possible because the quality of the work provided to the working muscle is just not there. This video probably it's more um, pointing towards somebody that is a little bit more advanced and also suffer, suffer from some injuries because of this overloading the joints and the ligaments with all these reps and sets because even lighter they can still cause some inflammation. It's well known that the high volume training is usually associated with uh, inflammations and minor injuries. And why training minimalism? First of all, because the world become very popular these days in many areas of our life in general, but I think it really comes down to the quality. Um, in the real world, if we want to get rid of the stuff we don't need, we just uh, become more free, we have more resources, and the same things come to training. If we just do fewer sets and fewer reps, but the, the quality of these reps and set is actually better, quality, then our result it will be better. If you are familiar with Dorian Yates, he was Mr. Olympia in the 90s, actually seven times if I'm not wrong, not mistaken. And this was uh, his thing, high intensity training and one set to failure. Now maybe this, uh, this is a little bit excessive for somebody that's just starting out. What usually happens with this type of training is just a lot of uh, minor injuries and inflammation in the forearm and this and that and at the end of the day even Dorian have some severe real injuries like he cut his triceps uh, tear his triceps um, tore, torn yeah he cut it so how we can uh, actually do it in the way that it's uh, better for, for us uh, first of all I will say that Probably most of us need not more than two sets to create 100% tension in the working muscles. Wait a second. Always some airplane will appear when you want to talk about training. And this is how, how we can do it and how we can know we are training with the right intensity. If we, let's say, have three working sets, first is a warm-up or first two even are warm-up then what we're looking for like a cue that um, we will know that this is the right set and, and this is uh, the closer we are to the total muscle failure the better um, 
the, the better cause we create for uh, adaptation. And because it's not so easy to be explained in words, I was trying to explain it, but then I will post video right here, so you can see what I mean, but uh, by really set that it's um, performed close to failure, or what I believe is how the set that uh, cause muscle growth actually looks like. Aside of that, most of the people these days train like uh, people like us, they, we just like to train, that's the fact. And because of that, we are going five, even six, seven times. Uh, I have a friend in the gym here, a young dude. He's always, he said, I'm training um, every day. And I'm jo joking kind of with him and I'm like, when is your rest day? Because he never rests. And he's like, I know, man, I know, but I'm trying to loading up. I'm squatting every day. So basically what he do is he's taking many concepts from here and there and combine it in his workout plan, which is not actually a plan, but just his logic is to do as much as he can. And just to conclude this video, I really believe that this training minimalism, it comes down to just right set, not more than four times a week, especially if you don't have um, five or more year of uh, training. Of course, um, if you're taking performance enhan enhancing drugs or steroids, you can push the boundary a little bit further, but still, the body can uh, adapt from just so much. Uh, comes to uh, really focusing, and focusing is the key word again, on doing the sets to the right extent. Just when you, when you reach it, when you do the right set, you just know this is the set that uh, you are looking for. And with that, guys, I'm wrapping up this video right here. Let me know how do you understand my English. Do you understand the topic, what I'm talking about? And what videos you are interested to see more about my previous experience, about my competitions, maybe some photos, so you can have more trust in what I'm saying. Uh, when it comes to training and basically all the recommendations you have are welcome because for somebody that are doing YouTube channel as a second language in English of course this is very challenging and I will ha highly respect um, and take in consideration all of the suggestions you guys are having because the goal for this year just to improve it and make this works. I'm Stan and I'll see you guys in the next video.